I think that's why her um, character development went so quick because she really wasn't. She was more of a catalyst than like a main character. Um. See, well, a couple of things. One, I I feel like that's what made it anticlimactic—the fact that he didn't fight back. So there was no ending great fight scene for Falcon or whatever. He got chipped by backdrop, then he flew away, and then when he comes back, he never really fought Carly either. So Listen, it's like he because the movie's coming out. Number one, number two, he did have his own heroic moment when he spoke to the issues that the public the speech was, was great. Yeah, yeah so- I agree. This was his heroic moment, not the fighting, because he still needs work. He just got a new suit. He don't know how it works. He don't even know if he's proof or not. Like he got a lot of stuff to do when the you know the hero development part as far as like fighting. But you know, he was more like the the political standpoint. I'm for the people here. I'm reclaiming this this position because it belongs to me. He was heroic in that sense. And, and also thought the speech was a little long and whatnot. It you know. Good. It was because he was on TV. Oh, well, hold, hold on. Again, the speech has to be the best part. Because mm-hmm. the speech, he was, he was spitting absolute facts. And he got chipped, so he had to... He had to... <laughs> <laughs> and, and not just that. It's, it's, that it, it's truly a work of fiction, because that would never happen to never. be broadcast live, where he's he's literally... Oh, Josh, a perfect camera view. Exactly. That's ridiculous. Perfect, perfect camera view with some mm-hmm. of the most powerfully political people in the world. Well, he did just save them from getting blown now, I, And I understand that, but they would, they again, the news agency would never allow that. I think it should have been, I think to make it more realistic to your point, they should have had people like live streaming it on like Instagram or something with their phones. Right. That's another thing. Everybody's watching the same channel. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> well, right. well, no, it, it, to me, it makes sense because just like how, you know, uh, DC has, you know, uh, Gotham News Network, GNN, t- which is their version of CNN. The WHIH is Marvel's version of CNN. So it, it's one of the, it's the main news outlet besides things like the Daily Bugle and everything else. But to me, I would say the the Isaiah part kind of I I kind of saw that one coming personally. I did too. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that the fact I would have liked him to get an actual picture of him with his uniform. Huh? Nah, yeah. bro, you can't do that because he still can die. Like, do you understand? I was like, Josh, why is he taking them there? He's too much of a. I agree. Like, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> he gonna blow his cover. That you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just a little man now. They don't know who he is. Look, that statue did look like him. I was like, maybe if the statue didn't look bad, but I'm like, don't stand too close to that statue, brother. They gonna get you. They got you. It on. Shouldn't go back. I tell you that. Like, don't go back. They got him on camera. They know who he is now because he <laughs> took him there. Oh, that's cute. And apparently, this was a long time coming because Anthony Mackie knew that the. I guess when he signed to be Falcon, that he would eventually be kept. I mean, that's what happens in the comics. So, you know, it, it, Marvel is very comic accurate when they can mm-hmm. be and stuff like that. So, and I think, um, you know, at that time, mm-hmm. Chris Evans deal already had, you know, however, however many movies left on it. So Chris Evans is always going to be done after that deal was over with and stuff like that. But um, so apparently you know. Falcon is like the first black superhero. That's yes. what I read in the article. Like, yes, yes, he is. Panther. So, you know. I was like, they're the first black main, but Falcon is the first like black period or whatever. Period. Like even even period. before a uh, war machine. <laughs> yeah, they said yeah. Marvel yeah. the okay. first black. So my thing is right. I have a question for you guys who are comic book um aficionados yeah. and savants. It's a- <laughs> name Levant. No. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so I kind of parallel this to Harry Potter, right? Like I asked my best friend Dana slash cousin. She loves Harry Potter, so she always read the books. And I'm like, does the movie ruin the books for you? Or does the books ruin the movie for you? I think with Harry Potter, because it's such a like in-depth book, it probably wouldn't. Because there's not enough time to put all of that in one movie. But with the comic books, if you read all the main storylines of comic books and you know what's going to happen, it kind of takes away, I would think, from the element of surprise. Do you agree or disagree? Hmm, I, I guess I wouldn't agree too much because the Hollywood studio can always go in a different direction, right? Because they've got to Hollywoodize certain things. And because that's that's how show business and entertainment works, number one. Then number two, I would also say a lot of the comic book community or the fantasy community 
really wants to see how well the story I was gonna say, yeah. to the screen. So that that's usually the criteria that uh, let's say the studios are being judged when they create this content. Go ahead, Big Mike. Yeah, actually, the, the comic community and they get upset when it's not almost exact because they want to mm -hmm. see how it adapts to live action and whatnot. So, like when they go astray, they try to you know see what they're trying to do, but they rather it be as accurate as possible. So, no, we even though they, they they can know the whole story, but like Josh said, they mm -hmm. want to see how it's done. How does how does Marvel do it? So okay, all right, that makes sense because I was like. When I went searching online, I was like, Chloe, don't look up too much because you're going to be bad. Because I, I like mean, they do change Falcon. different things or whatever. Like, you know, Falcon is like a teenager when he first comes out. He's not like mm -hmm. as old as Anthony Mackie is or whatever mm -hmm. like that. And he's also, Falcon is, is a tech wizard too, um, just like kind of like uh, Tony is or whatever like that. So there's a lot of different things they change. And but it's Falcon he, ain't good at tech at all, really. He, just, he can hear birds too, right? He can yeah, talk like actual them. birds. Well, it was at first, yeah. But then they kind of changed it to... <laughs> Technical person. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm like, it's so confusing. Like, when, if I was like the person who liked Falcon when he could talk to birds, and then this episode, it was no birds. Because when y'all <laughs> said that in the group chat, I was like, hold up. Well, that's Red Wing was an, actual, was an actual bird at first. Okay, right. so but Red they, Wing was a bird. But Falcon could talk to birds? Could talk to Red Wing. Well, he's Red Wing anyway. I don't know about all the, all the birds. <laughs> oh, all the birds. Oh, he going <laughs> Okay, okay, that, that clears it up for me. Like, well, hold on, I see that one bird in none of these episodes. Maybe that'll be something. I mean, Chloe, that, that's a fair gripe because similar to how George Lucas was when he was creating content in real time, you know, R.I.P. Stanley and Jack Kirby, they were creating these storylines initially, originally in real time. So they're like, oh, let's take it this way. And then they, they went that way. And this is before you had the comic book community where there were you know, there were such terms as plot devices and things like that, mm -hmm. that they paid attention to you. They were just happy to get that content at the end of the day. And I kind of, I guess that's how I feel with, you know, scrutinizing these works of content, which again, is fair scrutiny. But again, I'm just happy that I'm just happy that we have this type of content to consume. Mm hmm. Let's go. Ah!